Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about decision making under uncertainty. It means probabilities are unknown. So in this case, we can list the possible future outcomes but cannot estimate the probability that a specific outcome will occur. Very important point to understand. Here we have a problem. Thomson Lumber must decide whether or not to expand its business by producing or marketing a new product say backyard storage sheds the decision alternatives are build a large facility build a small facility or do nothing so these three decision alternatives it has the same possible future outcomes i mean high demand moderate demand and low demands also here three decision alternatives build a large facility build a small facility do nothing and this payoff table it is calculated by the company and these values it is nothing but net profit per year for each combination of alternative and future outcomes So to find five decision making criteria, what we will use to make a decision. In the next slide, I will use Excel to find five different decision making criteria. Those are say maxi max, maxi mean, realism, equally likely and minimax regrets so in the next slide using excel we will find this decision making criteria then we will use it how to make a decision so let's move in the next slide to see how we can do that I have to bring that payoff table here in Excel. So all the values, what was on the payoff table, I copied here. And also these alternatives, I copied, say build large facility, small facility and do nothing as well all these things high demand modern demand and low demands so let's see how to calculate that so what i'll do say first i will remove this i will remove this because already i have done it i'll show you now how you can get it so first so let's remove all this. Done. Now question is, actually this payoff table, here all these values are net profit per year. For each combination of alternatives and future outcomes. So we have to understand these points. and also we have to know that decision making under uncertainty it means probabilities are unknown that is why 
no hair we kept the value for the probability because our target is to find maxi max maxi mean equally likely realism and minimax that's all we are not using probability because decision making under uncertainty so first we will see how we can handle this i mean this pair of table so our target first is to find the best payoff how to get that out of this three it looks 20000 but it is three values here that's why very easy to get if we would have like 10 values 20 values or some other you know complicated things to do it faster we have to use formula so what we did max of c5 to c7 look at c5 to c7 out of this i have told to take the maximum one so it is taken now for this what you will do we don't need to calculate pull it automatically you get the value so you got best payoff for these three alternatives i mean three columns now let's move to the maxi max what is that choose the alternative that has the best payoff if the best event occurs i mean optimistic so what you will do we will take the max of c5 to e5 so look at c5 to e5 out of these three which one max this one 20 so automatically it is taken 20 now for other three in excel we don't need to do only just pull it it will come so out of these three excel here i put the formula for the best according to this formula you have to follow this how i have written so automatically it will choose which one is the best so already it is chosen best is this one so maximax we are done and we already got the answer that we have to choose the build large facilities because it is saying here this is the best option now we go for maxi mean if the worst event occurs i mean pessimistic then how to deal with that look at these three out of these three we have minimum this one minus 12000 so let's see out of these three alternatives what are the values come for other two just i am pulling automatically it is giving but interesting thing here automatically it appears best here according to the formula i have given here why it is because out of this three this is negative negative so best will be this one best payoff out of this three minimum so this is the answer so which one will do do nothing now go for equally likely equally likely it means each possible future outcome has an equal probability of occurrence so we have to choose the alternative that has the best weighted payoff so out from these three i took the average if you look at the formula i took average from here to here i got 6000 now pulling this i get other two so out of these three it looks best is this one automatically best appears here according to this formula now what it says to choose the build large facilities 
Now here we are, realism. Realism, slightly different than this because we have to use this formula. What is that? Realism payoff will be alpha multiplied by maximum payoff and 1 minus alpha multiplied by minimum payoff. We have to use this formula, I mean this value. So this is 0.45. So if we use this, say I click here, what do you find here? M8, this M8, this value is taken as per this formula. Maximum payoff, I mean from C5 to E5, from here to here, maximum is taken. Again, 1 minus alpha, 1 minus M8. Minimum payoff, out of these three, minimum is taken. So calculating this total, Excel gives us this value, 2400. Now pulling down, I get to, see? Right way position change for the best. Best is this one. So position is here according to this formula. So we got maximax, maximin, equally likely realism. And here it is different answer because best means we have to go for small facilities. Because here it was large facility, this was large facilities, this was do nothing. Here it says build a small facilities. Let's move to this mini max. How to get that? Mini max, we have to find regret. It is called opportunity loss. How to get that? Regret, maximum, mini max regret, opportunity loss minus regret. It means best payoff minus actual payoff. That's what it is here. Best payoff minus actual payoff. So we have to, as well, we have to choose the alternatives with the best, worst regrets. So what is that? Here, as it says, best payoff minus actual payoff, this minus this, we'll give this one. Again, this best minus this, we'll get the same position here, this. Again, this minus this, here is a minus, so this minus this means it will be plus 12,000, so we got the same position of this, it is this one. So surely, once we get that, using this equation, regret equal to best payoff minus actual payoff, so easily we can pull it here, you get the value for this, again you pull it here, you get the value for this, again you pull it here, you get the values of this. In other way I could do, highlighting full, I could pull it here, all the values would come at a time, but I did it separately. Anyway, so we got this. Now, what actually mini max regret? So we have to choose first maximum because here mini max end is with max. So here we have to choose the maximum. Out of these three, maximum this. Out of these three, Maximum is 11,000. Out of these three, maximum is 20,000. So from these three maximum, we have to choose the smallest 11,000. This is the answer. Best. We have to go for small facilities. So We got it, so we got the answer and most importantly we have to understand this, the, we cannot estimate the probability because there is no value for the probability. So our decision making criteria 
it depends on this maximax maximin realism equally likely and minimax regret that's all for today